Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Kerbal Space Program 2. In this video we're going to be doing a rendezvous and docking maneuver with a uh, space station which I've already placed into orbit around Kerbin using the command and service module um, which is part of my Saturn V build which I did in the Mission to the Moon uh, four part video series. So first things first I'm going to press M on the keyboard to go to the map and as you can see we have the two ships in orbit. We've got the ship we're currently in control of and that's going to be the target ship there. So to make things a little bit easier um, I like to right click on Kerbin and hit the focus button and uh, that will make creating the maneuvers a lot more simpler. So you can actually see what's going on. And then you will right click on the target vessel and select the set target button. Now what that's done is it's brought these two dotted lines um, which have the descending node there and that one would be the ascending node but it's not popping up at the minute, it'll pop up in a little bit. There we go, there it is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, what that basically means is it refers to our relative inclination to the ship uh, which we are targeting. So what I like to do, just a piece of advice, if for example your ship is a or your target ship is at quite a high inclination over around like say 45 or so degrees then it would be recommended to launch the ship you are wanting to dock with it into the same inclination so what I like to do is I wait until the target ship's orbit line passes over the top of Kerb the Kerbal Space Center and then launch my ship into as close to the same inclination as possible because if the ascending node or descending node is at a high number it just makes it a bit of a nightmare uh, when you try to create the maneuver but as you, as you see at the moment we're at 0 0.8 degrees relative inclination so we want to make that 0, 0.0 degrees so I'm going to create a warp maneuver as close to the descending node as possible uh, if you were approaching the ascending node um, then you'd create on that one but either one really it doesn't matter it's just this one's a little bit quicker and if you click near the maneuver node you bring up these icons. Um, the ones we want to be paying attention to at the moment are the purple ones, which is the normal arrow and the anti-normal arrow. And the way I remember which one to do is if you're approaching the ascending node, i.e. AN, you want to be pulling on the anti-normal arrow. Whereas if you're approaching the descending node, which we are now, we're going to pull on the normal one. So I'm going to pull up ever so slightly until the numbers reach 0, 0.0 degrees and uh, you can also pull backwards on them so for example if you pull up on the descent on the um, anti-normal arrow that will move it down um, either way it works better you just get a little bit of control if you pull a little bit more control if you pull inwards as opposed to outwards outwards is better for larger adjustments inwards is better for smaller ones so as you can see we're now at 0, 0.0 relative inclination which is perfect so the next thing I'm going to do is click on the maneuver button in the SAS control bar um, and that will point it at the maneuver marker on the nav ball it's always recommended to do this before you warp because if you do it after you warp to the maneuver then if especially if it's a heavier ship it takes a lot longer and then you might end up panicking or you might not be pointed at the marker on the nav ball uh, in time to create the to start your burn so yeah the next thing we do is we'll click on the warp to maneuver button which will warp the game forwards a little bit uh, it'll stop around 30 or 40 seconds um, what I like to do is when I get there just to save a little bit of time is I like to uh, warp forwards a couple more notches until we get to around 10 seconds there we go now, because this is only going to be a small burn, it's only 26 delta V, uh, I'm going to increase the throttle only a little bit, and then watch the burn gauge at the bottom, and when it hits the uh, bottom of the burn gauge, when it's fully empty, we'll press X on our keyboards, which will cut the throttle. There you go, zero degrees relative inclination, which is exactly what we want. So the next thing to do is... I mean, you could try creating the maneuver now, but I like to warp forward until the two ships are roughly 90 degrees from each other. There we go, that should do it. 
And then, if we create our maneuver anywhere on the orbit ahead of us, and pull out the prograde arrow, we want to create we want to get the projected orbit, which is the orange line, to intersect with the orbit of the target ship. And when it's done that, you can see we now have these two new icons, which is referring to our closest point of approach. So at the moment, we're at 547,000 meters apart, which is way too far. So if we grab the center of the maneuver node, so it turns bluish, it's more of a lilac colour in it. Anyway, grab that, drag it around our orbit until the two markers are one on top of the other. That has now brought our distance to 5,000 metres. Let's have a closer look at the manoeuvre. As you can see, there is a bit of a gap still, so the two orbits aren't actually properly intersecting with each other. So, we'll pull out the normal, sorry, the prograde arrow ever so slightly until the two lines are one on top of the other. And then we'll drag the maneuver node around a little bit until the... There we, ah, there we go, 500 metres, that's pretty much bang on. Um, it can be tempting to try and get it to zero metres, but I would not recommend that, because if you do that and you overdo the warp, then the two ships are likely going to crash into each other which is not something you want to happen so now that maneuvers created we'll click the maneuver button point the ship at the maneuver marker on the nav ball and once that's stabilized we can hit the warp to maneuver button which will speed the game up there we are so we've got 40 seconds left so instead of waiting i'm going to go forward a little bit to about 10 seconds and then once the timer hits zero, because it's a slightly longer burn this time, I'm going to go to full throttle, but then cut the throttle um, almost immediately afterwards, because it's only a three second burn as shown at the bottom of the, the timer there. There we go. Now, as you can see, I think I might have overdone it ever so slightly because that's now brought up these two markers, the orange ones, which is our second point of approach. So that means that our orbit is going beyond the target ship's orbit and then coming back through it again. Uh, the way we can fix that, it's quite simple. What I like to do is I like to activate RCS. Press delete on your keyboard to make sure uh, you can either use docking mode, but I like to just use normal mode on the control and then use the H and N keys to reduce our relative distance to as low as it'll go. So, ooh, 34 meters. That might be a little bit too close, actually. I like to have it a few hundred meters apart, maybe about a kilometer, and that'll make things a bit safer when it comes to it. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press home on our keyboards, which will focus us back on the ship we're in control with, and then warp forwards until the two icons are fairly close together. Not too close together, and remember you don't want to overdo the warp because if you do then you'll overshoot and it'll just make, yeah, you'll have to wait for ages until the two orbits intersect again. But now they're nice and close together, I'll get back to normal speed. Press M to go back into the flight view and there we are, that's the target ship. Now, before we go further, the next thing to do is, on the velocity bug, on the left hand side of the nav ball, we want to click that twice until it says target, and that basically says that we are moving at around about 90 odd meters per second relative speed um, to the target. And then, once we've done that, we'll click the retrograde button on the SAS control wheel. And when that's stabilised, I'm going to warp forwards until it gets to about 2, 1.52 kilometres on that marker, on the icon there. And what you want to do is when it gets there, like I said, don't go too fast because it can uh, quite easily overshoot. When it gets there, we're going to do a prograde burn, uh, which isn't prograde to our orbit necessarily. It's prograde to the relative orbit of the target. 
go. I want to try and get this down to roughly zero meters per second. There we go, 0 0.2. That's pretty good. If we use the RCS, we might even be able to get it down to zero. Actually, we're moving a little bit in the wrong direction now. So if we use the IKJL keys, I'll move that green prograde marker into the middle of the um, white mark. Yeah, I can't remember what that's called. Level. That's the level indicator. The white level indicator on the nav ball. Use the H or N key. There we are. We're at zero, degree, zero meters per second relative velocity. So we are flying pretty much in formation now. And as you can see on the map there is no discernible difference between our two orbit lines now. So the key, what you want to do next is you want to point the ship at the target by pressing the target button on the SAS control uh, bar. And when it's there, we'll press H, or hold down H. You can use the throttle, but I prefer to use RCS for this bit because it makes it a little bit... Well, you've got more control. I'm going to press H until we get to around about 2.5 meters per second. There we go, 2.5 meters per second. Okay, and we're going to keep a close eye on the distance because we don't want to go too close because now we are point heading straight towards the uh, you can just about see it there we're heading straight towards the space station so if we were to keep going we would end up hitting the space station but to save a bit of time I'm going to walk forward a little bit and then when we get to about 250 meters I'm going to slow the ship down again Slow the service module down. It's back to zero, and you'll see why in a second. Now, one thing I like to do just before I continue is I like to orient the service module or the ship you're going to be docking on the nav ball, and then it just makes actually changing the attitude ever so slightly easier you get a little bit more control over it and therefore when I now press N it will make it quite a lot simpler to get to zero so the reason I've done that is because we are currently targeted the entire station so we're not actually pointing at the docking port that we want to be docking on so if you press the square bracket button on the thing that'll take us on the keyboard should I say the thing on the keyboard that'll take us to the space station the next thing I like to do is go onto the map find the grey icon which is the command and service module and set that as the target then we'll hit the velocity bug to change that to target and I think I'm gonna have it dock onto this docking port here so if you right click on that docking port and then click control from here you can see the nav ball has now changed if we then hit the SAS button and click the target button it will reorient the entire space station so that, that docking port is pointed at the ship or at the, control, the command module so once that's ready I'm going to go back to the service module well, command and service module and start moving forwards again so use H, get up to I think because we're so close I'm going to go up to about one meter per second that way if you're going nice and slow you've got much more control over your attitude adjustments whereas if you're going faster it takes a lot more time to change your attitude and you're likely to lose control and end up in a right nightmarish scenario where you're spinning around the space station or the target ship it, is, it can just be a bit of a ball ache so I'm going to 
fast forward slightly and then when it gets to about 100 I'm going to once again stop the ship and you'll see why in a second so as I say we're actually um, travelling straight to the space station or the centre of the space station and not the actual docking port I think that's probably about close enough is that I'm going to stop the ship as I said just the attitude like I say it's best to make sure that the marker, the prograde marker is always inside the target marker or as close to as possible and then using the arrow keys I'm going to detach the camera from the service module and start moving towards the space station you'll see why in a second so the port which I'm wanting to aim for is there so there we are, we're now close enough that we can actually highlight the docking port to do that, well to target the docking port you right click on it and then click set target and as you, can, as you might have noticed the target marker shifted ever so slightly but it shifted just enough on the nav ball which now means that we are targeting the docking port and not the centre of the station which is what we don't want because otherwise it just makes things a little bit more complicated so now I think we can start moving forwards again we'll increase our relative velocity to let's say about 0 0.5 de uh, meters per second as I say that'll give us a little bit more control Gonna walk forward slightly until we get a bit closer Oh, gone behind this the sun's gone behind the thing so we're in night now now that you might think is disastrous what I've done though on this module is I've actually added a couple of spotlights onto the front so if you turn the lights on we can now see the the docking port now this pit the one of the key pieces of advice I would always give you when doing any docking maneuvers is to go slowly it's like if you go too fast then as I said earlier you won't be able to make the adjustments as easily you won't be able to slow down as easily and you might end up crashing into the target port or the target ship which isn't very good it's always better to go very slow and warp forwards a tiny little bit than to go really fast and end up panicking and crashing and disaster and you know explosions, blood guts, all that kind of nonsense looking pretty good. I'm going to slow down slightly using N so we don't hit it too fast. And there. Dink. There we go. And that is how to rendezvous and dock. It's very easy. Now if for example, uh, just a final note, if the docking port was on the front or the back of the ship then you wouldn't need to necessarily right click on the docking port and set that as the target as long as the two ships are facing directly at one another um, as I showed you earlier then the two ships will line up nicely and it will all come together so yeah that's been my uh, tutorial on how to rendezvous and dock in Kerbal Space Program 2 if you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button uh, maybe you could leave a comment and subscribe and uh, yeah if I do any other content in the future you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.